guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. The time has come and I am so ready for it. The Sephora sale is here. I definitely know from experience, it can be very overwhelming when the sale is here and you're just like, I don't know what to get. So I wanted to give you guys my ultimate recommendations and share what's currently in my cart that I just can't wait to get my hands on. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that and leave a comment down below letting me know what you're shopping from the Sephora sale. If there is something that I absolutely need to get my hands on, please let me know. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all the products that I'm sharing with you guys today down in the description box. My Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, camera details, outfit details, all that great stuff will also be linked down below. And that's it. Let's get into the makeup, the hair, the skin, perfume, all the good stuff. I am only sharing the items that I feel are absolutely necessary from Sephora. If there's a drugstore dupe that's like just as good as the item from Sephora, I did not include that Sephora item. So these are the things that I think are just absolutely necessary. So let's start off with makeup. And I'm probably going to be repeating myself from last year and years prior. But if I am, that means the product is that good. Let's start out with the mascara that I recently picked up that I am literally obsessed with like where has this been all my life this is the benefit fan fist mascara and i swear to you nothing fans out my lashes nothing gives me volume and length better than this mascara i am obsessed i really don't understand how it took so long to come out with such a perfect formula this is like everything that i've ever wanted in a mascara it's literal perfection the only thing is i wish it was a little bit blacker but don't worry I've got you covered with that. I know it's probably like way too extra for most people, but I don't really think that there's ever like a perfect standalone mascara for myself personally. I like layering mascaras and this is my favorite mascara to top any other mascara with. It is so good. It is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I fell in love with this immediately. It gives your lashes that like slick ultra black look and i feel like it makes my lashes look so much thicker too so today i'm actually wearing this first i just did one coat of the fan fest mascara and then i put the urban decay perversion on top of it and it is literally like the perfect mascara look in my opinion like nothing looks better these two work so beautifully together i could not recommend them more this one just gives you that like nice wet black look to your lashes like very slick if you have any like dry crumbly looking spots on your lashes from the previous mascara that you applied if you put this over it it immediately smooths it out i don't understand how but it's so good but anyway these two mascaras they're so good all right i've got a lot from charlotte tilbury and you've already heard me talk non-stop about these products so let me do it quickly the first is my all-time favorite blush that ever has existed there is a drugstore dupe for this it is good it is not nearly as good as the charlotte tilbury one this is the glowgasm beauty light one in the shade pinkgasm i am obsessed it is the creamiest liquid blush it looks so gorgeous on the skin just like radiating beautiful pinky glow i'm obsessed it's seriously the most beautiful blush it's legit trust me this is the best setting spray that has ever existed again it's by charlotte tilbury it is the airbrush flawless setting spray it is so good it makes your makeup look incredible and it truly does make your makeup last all night like way longer there is something about a setting spray that just is so necessary in my opinion like it makes all of your powders and your liquids just melt together in the most perfect flawless way and this one there is truly nothing better i'm obsessed i have one more thing from charlotte tilbury it is charlotte tilbury's brow cheat micro precision brow pencil i love this thing i swear there is no better brow pencil than this one what's really nice is the packaging is actually reusable so when your product is all out you just pop it out and pop in a new one which is amazing i love that brands are doing more reusable packaging lately just makes so much more sense. There's so much waste. It has a spoolie on the other end too, which is so nice. And I love this formula. It is the perfect amount of like slick, but the perfect amount of grip. 
it's just perfect. If you're looking for a new brow pen, this is it. This is it. As far as powders go, I have three to share. First off is my bronzer that I've been using for years. And again, I'm just obsessed. I have yet to try anything else that I like better. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. It is so beautiful. It looks so natural on the skin and just gives you the most perfect bronzy glow. I'm in love. And then as far as setting powders, this Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder is my favorite for setting underneath the eyes because that's the only place that I've been using it. It's going to last me forever, like literally probably years. I love this stuff. It looks so nice underneath the eyes. And then to set the rest of my face, this one also works for under the eyes as well. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Whenever I'm traveling, I just bring this one. I don't worry about bringing this one just because this one works so nicely under the eyes. The reason that I like using this one under my eyes is because it's that pink color. It gives a little bit more of a brightening effect, whereas this one's just translucent. It still looks really nice underneath the eyes. Again, I use a very, very minimal amount, so these powders last me literally forever. I have to talk about my freck. This has been a tried and true product that I've been using for years. I love my faux freckles. I wish I had real ones. And this is just perfect for applying freckles. You just dot them on your face, take your finger and blend them in all over. It looks so nice and natural if you do it right. You can definitely go overboard. I for sure have in the past, but I love this stuff. I always buy the extra large size. The regular size I think is like half this. So I just always buy the extra large one because pretty much anytime I put any type of makeup on, I put on faux freckles. And I am still on my brown liner game. I don't know if I'll ever go back to black. I mean, I probably will at some point, but I'm still obsessed with brown liner and this one's my absolute favorite. It is the Benefit Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. Extra Brown is the shade. This is definitely the easiest liner, in my opinion, to work with. It is a felt tip applicator and it just goes on nice and smooth and easy. Like, it used to take me forever to do wing liner and I swear, since I got this stuff, it's so much easier and I love how brown looks. Black can just look so intense. And I love a brown liner look because you still get that drama with a wing, but it's not nearly as like in your face. It feels a little softer, so I'm obsessed. And then lastly for makeup are my absolute favorite lip glosses. I have talked ad nauseum about these lip glosses. I actually don't know if I've talked about it here on YouTube, maybe on shorts, but on TikTok, I can't shut up about them. They're by M Beauty Project, and this is their Glaze Lip Oil. As you can see, I have four here. I am literally obsessed. They are so freaking good. M Beauty Project actually sent me a PR package with the Candy Apple shade, and I swear the second I tried it, I was like, no, literally, I will never wear anything else ever in life. It is the glossiest, juiciest lip. I'm wearing it right now, but I've been wearing it for at least an hour. So does this still look good? Yeah, it does. Let me put a little more on top. So I'm actually wearing a lip stain underneath this, which is pretty much always the way that I wear these glosses or lip oils rather. But probably my most used shade is the Candy Apple shade. It's got just a slight kind of red tone to it. It's definitely not too intense. It looks so beautiful on the lips. I'm not like a huge fan of my natural lip color. So I always like having something underneath it, but the gloss just really brings any color to life. I also really love Mystery Glaze. This one is actually a sheer color with like a slight pink tone to it. It looks so pretty on the lips too. Any color that you have underneath your lips, it makes it like a little bit more like brighter pink. It's so pretty on. This one I can actually wear by itself. It is the shade Berry Jam. It's just got a little bit more pigment to it. It's a gorgeous sheer berry color. I'm obsessed. I think this one looks so pretty on. And this one, I don't know if they sell it at Sephora yet. I'm hoping they will bring it there though. It is the shade Fruit Punch. I will link it down below if only in Beauty Project sells it, but I'm obsessed with this one too. It's like a corally color. It's so pretty. Let's do skincare next. So first is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite sunscreen in life. I am obsessed with this sunscreen and so is my husband. We both wear it every single day. This sunscreen looks gorgeous on its own. It just gives you the most beautiful, healthy glow to your skin. It is the Tula Skincare Protecting Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel. This one has SPF 30 
and it doesn't have that like ultra sunscreeny type smell to it. That's I think the reason that my husband really likes it. One of my favorite ways to wear it if I'm going for like a no makeup makeup look is mixing this with another tinted sunscreen and this product here. This is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sun Sunshine Drops. Sunshine is one of the hardest words for me to say. I do not know why. Anyway, it's from Drunk Elephant. I've had this forever. It is such a good product to give you a nice bronzy glow to the skin. I usually add two drops of this when I do like my little Tula mixture and it looks so freaking good on the skin. I'm obsessed, it's amazing. Another Drunk Elephant product that has been a tried and true staple for me at this point. I use this stuff every single night. It is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. My skin lately has just been so dry. I don't know why. I'll just wake up with like crusty skin. It's so nasty. So I've started implementing an oil into my skincare routine every single night and I love this stuff. This is definitely by far my favorite oil that I've ever used. It's so good. It's so hydrating. It sinks into the skin so nicely and I just love how it feels when I wake up after I use this stuff. Glow Recipe has quickly become one of my favorite skincare brands of all time. I am in love with these three products specifically. Like, I don't think I've ever tried anything of theirs that I didn't like, but these three are like major staples for me. So the first is the serum that I use every single day. It is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. It plumps up your skin so nicely, it gives you all the moisture in the world. It's just my favorite, favorite, favorite product to apply when I'm just feeling dull and dry. It wears so nicely under makeup as well. I'm in love with this stuff. I've gone through so many bottles of it. This is another product that I never skip when I'm putting on my makeup. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Gives you the best healthy looking glass skin. I am in love with this. I know, I'm sorry. I keep saying the same exact things over and over and over again, but it gives your skin this like healthy, bright look to it. And like I said, it's just like ultra nourishing and moisturizing, gives you that glass skin look. I'm in love. I wear this underneath my BB cream and it just gives me the best looking skin. I'm obsessed. And then the last Glow Recipe product, I actually need to re-up on this because I'm fully out. It is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. By far my favorite moisturizer that I have ever used in life. I love this moisturizer. It feels so hydrating on the skin, like sinks into your skin so beautifully. I can't say enough things. I've tried a lot of moisturizers, a lot of moisturizers that I really like, but this one is hands down my absolute favorite. And once again, the packaging is reusable, so you just pop in a new little tub of moisturizer when you're ready for a refill. A couple more skincare products that I love. This is the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. It is a calming oat-based powder exfoliant. I mistakenly called this a cleanser, I think on TikTok, and someone was like, I think it's an exfoliator, and I was like, hmm. I think you're right. It was like under cleansers in Sephora, so I just got confused. Anyway, I use this every single morning essentially as a cleanser and I've never had any issues with it. It is so gentle on your skin, but your skin feels so nice and refreshed afterwards. I grew up in the 90s. I know, we used to use the most abrasive exfoliants to scrub out our skin and although it felt amazing, we learned later that is not good for your skin at all. So I love that you get that feeling with this, but it's not abrasive to your skin. It feels so gentle on the skin and so soothing, but at the same time, you're really exfoliating so well. So I'm obsessed with this stuff. It is so, so good. I could not recommend it more. Also, I've been using it for months and I still have so much left, like definitely at least 75% crazy. And lastly for skincare, this is a new eye cream that I've been obsessed with. It is First Aid Beauty's Brighten and Glow Eye Cream with Niacinamide. I use this every single day, especially before putting on makeup. I'm super particular about eye creams that I wear under makeup. There are certain eye creams that just like crumble and like just don't hydrate enough. This checks all the boxes. It's so brightening and a very little amount goes a long way. Like I've been using this for months and I 
have barely used any of it. And I also like the applicator. It's just easy to apply without contaminating the rest of the product. I know like typically eye creams will come in like a little jar and I know that's not the best for like bacteria and all that nasty stuff. All right, moving on to hair. <laughs> I have quite a few things to share. Most of them are from ColorWow, my absolute favorite hair brand I think ever in life. The first is this stuff that I am like really trying to make last until the Sephora sale. It is the Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. I am literally addicted, obsessed. I cannot do a day two routine without this stuff. It is such a good product, gives you the best definition, and people get confused by this product and this one here. This is Color Wow Dream Coat. This is the first one that they put out that I have been in love with for so many years now. I'm actually regretting buying the massive size that I did last Sephora sale or maybe two Sephora sales ago because I've been exclusively wearing my hair like this for months and I have no need for this. So hopefully it doesn't expire. But this is my favorite, favorite product when it comes to giving myself a blowout. My hair is extremely frizzy naturally and it gives you the most sleek, silky blowout in life. They actually just put out the extra strength one and I'm so wishing I was able to try that one. But again, I've just been trying to keep my hair in these natural waves for as long as possible just because it's so much healthier on my hair. But if you do blow out your hair, even if you just blow dry your hair without blowing it out, I could not recommend this stuff more. It has like an anti-humidity property to it to where like if you use the right amount, water will just like fall off of your hair. It's absolutely incredible. Like the technology, I do not understand. But I love this stuff for straight hair and this for curly hair or wavy hair. I'm telling you guys, it is so freaking good. It gives you the best frizz-free texture. I'm literally obsessed. The other two Color Wow products that I have to share with you are both staples in my hair routine whether I'm giving myself a blowout or wearing my hair like this. First is the Color Wow Razor Root Thicken and Lift Spray. This gives you the best volume at your roots. If you struggle with flat hair at your roots, I'm telling you, this is your sign to pick up this product. I always use this on wet hair, but apparently it works really well on dry hair too. In the past, I have been so anti using a lot of product. I only wash my hair once a week. So it's very important to me that my hair looks clean for as long as possible. And before I tried this, I was nervous. Like I don't wanna put this right on my roots, but it is so lightweight. It does not cake up my roots. Once your hair is dry, it's literally invisible. So 10 out of 10 recommend. And then the last product from Color Wow is their Dream Cocktail coconut infused leave-in treatment. I just started using this product probably a few months ago and I love it. The first time I ever tried using it was when I gave myself a blowout pretty much I think it was like a month or two after I had gotten my hair done and I got a lot more blonde put in my hair and I was really nervous to give myself a blowout but I had just gotten this product. It's a leave-in hydrating and smoothing treatment that transforms dry straw-like strands into silky supple hair in a single blow dryer. Wow, that's a lot of alliteration. Rich in coconut oil, emollients, and fatty acids, this mega moisture infusion is perfect for anyone with dry dehydrated hair. Couldn't agree more. My ends are extremely damaged from years of using heat on my hair and from bleaching, all of the above. And this stuff makes my hair look like brand new hair. When I used it for the very first time, when I blew out my hair, it looked insane. Like I could not believe it was my own hair. It looked so healthy and I was just like, how is this even possible? But ever since then, I've been using it on my natural waves. It is heat activated. So if I use this stuff, I definitely have to use my diffuser, but it definitely makes such a difference in the ends. They would normally just look like straw-like. And this gives me like catfish hair, basically. <laughs> my hair looks so healthy and it's definitely not. Speaking of diffusing, this, if you're looking for a new blow dryer, now is the time because this Dyson Supersonic has been with me. I don't even know how long now. I should really try and find my receipt. I've had this for so many years and I am obsessed with this blow dryer. I have zero regrets with spending the money. I believe I got it on sale, maybe through Sephora or Ulta, but I definitely got it at least 20% off. <laughs> Would not want to buy it full price. 
But anyway, I just think that this blow dryer is ingenious. I've noticed such a difference in the health of my hair since I started using it. I've had to use a couple hotel blow dryers and oh my gosh, my hair is like, what are you doing to me? This is superior. Even though I've been wearing my hair in my natural waves, it's so nice because it comes with a diffuser attachment. So I use this every single time I wash my hair. But these are the other attachments that I have. I don't think there's anything else. I have like two concentrator nozzles that mine came with. And then I actually bought the Dyson flyaway attachment separately. I believe the Supersonic comes with this now. This is so good if you struggle with flyaways which I always do. I have broken hair all over the place. So anytime I give myself a blowout, I use this every single time. It is literally a magic tool. And even though I haven't really been blowing out my hair, I at least wanted to share the Shark Flex style, which I was absolutely addicted to when I was blowing out my hair. This is such an ingenious tool, especially if you don't want to spend the money on the air wrap. Obviously, the air wrap is amazing too. It's a great product. I tried it against this Shark Flex style and they pretty much looked the same. I would say the Shark is a little bit hotter than the Dyson. I feel like the Dyson blows the air faster, whereas the shark gets a little hotter. So if you are concerned about damage, you might want to go with the air wrap. But now is definitely the time if you're looking to invest in one of these nicer hot tools because they do cost a pretty penny. I would definitely say buy them during the Sephora sale because honestly, I haven't seen like a better price than that 20% off that you get with the Sephora sale, depending on your tiered status, of course. But I love the Shark Flex style. Mine came with a concentrator nozzle. I have this round brush, which is what I use when I blow out my hair. And then the smoothing brush, which is also a really, really nice tool. And then obviously your barrels, which I truthfully didn't use these nearly as much as the other attachments, but I think it's my hair. It's definitely not the tool because I didn't love it when I did it with the Dyson either. My hair is just way too frizzy. But maybe if I had the Colorwell Jinko Extra Strength, I would have actually loved it. I guess we'll never know. Oh my gosh, I forgot one product for hair stuff. This is another product that I use every single time. I wash pretty much every single day that I actually do my hair. This is the Kerastase Elixir Ultime. It is their hair oil. I don't know why it has such a fancy name, but this stuff is legit. It is the best smelling hair oil and it is so kind to your hair. Do you see how much is left in here? I don't know if you can tell, but I've literally got at least half of the product left and I've had this for so many years. A little goes a very long way. It smells so nice. It's nice and lightweight on your hair. It doesn't grease it down too much. I love this stuff. And it does cost a little bit of a pretty penny, so now is the time if you're thinking about buying it. Okay, as far as fragrance goes, this is not gonna be anything new. I still have the same two favorite perfumes. The first is Prada Paradox. I'm addicted to this stuff. It smells so good, and this one lasts on my skin and my clothes forever. It like won't wash out of my clothes. It smells so freaking good, so I'm not even upset about it. And I'm actually so stingy when it even comes to wearing this because I just never want to get rid of my first bottle. It smells so freaking good. I love the way this smells. I will put the notes down below because I don't feel like reading them. But my other one is the perfume that I've literally been wearing for 10 years. I started wearing this on our honeymoon and we'll be celebrating 10 years of marriage literally next week. And it's just like so cozy and so like floral in the best way. It smells so good. Every single time I wear this, Brian like freaks out. He loves the way this smells. So I could not recommend this more. It's like the perfect girly scent if you want to feel a little grown up, but still girly at heart. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it smells great. The last thing that is fragrance related is perfect for the upcoming holidays. I am obsessed with this candle. You can still smell it even though it's like fully burned out. I'm gonna have to pick up one of these. This is the Replica by the Fireplace candle. It smells so freaking good. It literally smells like a burning fireplace. I will put the notes down below, but this is the best smelling candle. It throws really nicely too. We were burning this every single day during the holidays and my husband who's super picky about scents absolutely loved this one too. Oh, actually it says it right on it. Fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut. Style description, memory and a candle. It does have like a nostalgic feel to it when you burn it. Okay, lastly, let me just like quickly tell you what's in my cart. I'm sure I will be adding more to it, but right now at least, I don't have a cream bronzer. 
I have been wanting to try underpainting and I literally just don't have anything in my makeup drawer that will work for that. So there are a few different bronzers that I'm thinking about picking up. So weigh in down in the comments below if you have a cream bronzer that you're like obsessed with. I'm looking at the one from Patrick Ta, the Tower 28 Beauty one, as well as the Fenty Beauty matte contour stick. I might buy all three and try them all out and see what I think. But if there's one out of all of those that you guys are really into, let me know. I've been hearing a lot about Tower 28. I don't have much from them. I know I have like a lip gloss, like a clear lip gloss from them that I really liked, but I've seen so much buzz around the Tower 28 Beauty SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. So I think I'm gonna pick that one up too because I just wanna try it and see like what the hype is about. I'm also gonna get another one of my Charlotte Tilbury brow cheats. This one I'm gonna get in soft brown for more of like a soft brow look. Definitely grabbing another one, if not several of the Dream Coat Anti-Frizz Treatment for curly hair. Definitely grabbing another Benefit Cosmetics Fan Fest fanning and volumizing mascara. I also want to grab the Day Cactus Fruit 3-in-1 Styling Cream. Like I said, I only wash it once a week and when it gets to a point where it's just too greasy to wear it down or even keep any of the face framing pieces out but like the rest up in a bun, I like to slick back my hair and the styling cream that I've been using for a really long time is almost out so I want to try the Day one. I've tried it in the past and I think because I still have the other one I was like I don't need this, I'll just send it back. So I ended up getting rid of it, but I want to try it again because I do remember I really liked it. Also grabbing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray because it's a tried and true. Same thing, I need to grab more Olaplex. Did I even talk about Olaplex number three? Guys, what am I doing? I'm totally missing products. Olaplex number three is a staple in my routine as well. I use this before every single hair wash. I keep it on my hair for at least 40 minutes and I swear my hair it's changed my hair. Because I put so much blonde in it and my roots are naturally so dark, my hair gets so fried. And I can tell a difference if I don't use this before a wash. The situation is definitely not as good. My hair is way more straw-like if I don't use this. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. And I swear, if you struggle with dry, dehydrated hair, I could not recommend this more, especially before you go to the salon and get your hair dyed. I would definitely recommend at least doing this once before you do that and definitely after at least a couple treatments just to get your hair back to a good place but like i said my mom and i both use it before every single wash we were literally just talking about this the other day and it makes such a difference so i'm gonna grab another one of those i also love this time of year because sephora puts out all these different like little gift sets where you can get like a deal. So I'm definitely gonna get one of the beauty blender sets because you definitely get more bang for your buck. I'll probably get one of the ones that has like the little mini cleanser too because I really like those for traveling. Definitely grabbing another Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. And then I also wanna try the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream Refillable Gel Moisturizer with Niacinamide. It has such good reviews on their Sephora website. I've used Charlotte's Magic Cream before and I really, really like that moisturizer. It is a great moisturizer, but because this is a new product and it's got niacinamide in it, I'm just curious to try it. So I wanna try that one out too. And I think that's pretty much it for now. So once again, let me know if there's anything that I'm missing that I have to pick up, but that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And as always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Happy shopping. Bye.